Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. Well, there may still be a little snow on the ground, but that's not gonna stop us from jumping on the boat in this week's show. We're headed to the Mississippi River for a little spring open water fishing with our old buddy, Mike McCormick. Now first, Mike and the guys are gonna be targeting some spawning perch in some of the backwaters and along wing dams on the river. Then a couple days later, I get a chance to hop in the boat with Mike where we head a little further north to Lake Pepin to target post-spawn walleye. Well, today we're fishing on the Mississippi River, uh, north of La Crosse. Um, you can actually see the I-90 bridge in the background. Um, we're fishing at lock and dam number seven, but uh, we're fishing out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. We're on the boundary of both states here. Here, little perch. There you go, little male. Little male perch. Pretty light bite. He just had to grab a hold of the thing. Oh, <laughs> make a mess of your boat, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that size. <laughs> Gotta find out if he's a male or a female real quick. Got him. Sharp hook on her. Four eggs, little female. Nice little fillet, though. Should eat up good. So, as the first of April, our limits in the Wisconsin changed to 15 to match Minnesota had did theirs at the first of March. So, you can keep 15 perch per person. So, we had 25 fish bag limits before, now they moved it down to 15. So we should have a pretty good perch fishery for years to come now. So it looks like they've doing a little bit of protection on the on our species of fish. So it should work out good for everybody. Boy, they're eating it good. Right at the top of the lip. Spawned out. Delicious. Nice perch. Nice eater. Nice fish. Should be able to get a fly off of that one. There we go, we got a good perch on here. Better one at least. 
another perch, another tooth tamer rod. We can get the hook out. There we go. Decent perch. Better than I've been doing. I think we'll keep that one. So we're fishing a bay in here where all these perch are coming in here, getting out of the current and do their spawn. And uh, it's kind of a popular spot. You get a lot of guys coming in here trying to catch walleyes and perch. So there's probably 25 boats out here, but it's a nice day. That's why everybody's off of work, got something to do. It's good Friday. so. Yeah. There's one. Another good eater. All right. So well, today we're using a little drop shot rig that I tie up, uh, holding our bait about six inches off the bottom. Then we're just using a just a three eighths ounce sinker, and then uh, just a chunk of crawler. We'll put that one in the live well. I like to use a tail of the night crawler, and I like to thread it on the hook so it looks natural when I put it in the water. So that's what our rig looks like on, when it's under the water. And then the night crawl will be floating out a little bit. So it's up off the bottom about six inches. Seems to be the, the ticket to get these perch to fire. See how he's missing some scales here on the side right here? I'm rooting around, marking his territory with them uh, females in there. Going through uh, spawn. Well, there's a nice one. Got a little weight to her. Nice perch. Good eater. Looks like it's been rutting around in the mud. It got a little mud on his chin there. <laughs> there we go. We got a good perch here. Yeah, look at that dandy, huh? Soaking a night crawler over the side here on the bottom, and uh, we're just sitting there. Picked it up. Real nice perch. I like to use like a medium light uh, pole for fishing these perch. Sometimes if we get into You'll, some days the, the big ones will be out and you'll get in the 14 inch or whatever. If you got a, just a real light rod, it's hard to get them to be able to lift them up and flip them into the boat. So I like a medium light, something with probably four pound test mono. And then, you know, we're just going to fish pretty much straight over the side of the boat. Um, so you don't have to have a lot of line on it or nothing. You, you're just going to be dropping it over the side, 12 feet of water probably. There we go. That's that's a good perch there. That's a nice perch. Wow, look at that one. Oh, that's a big old female. Full of eggs. Look at that baby. I'm a tooth tamer. That's a beautiful perch. A little line out here so I can get the hook out of them. Yeah, he's better. He's got a good. Beautiful perch here. Fishing down by lacrosse. Let's catch him on a piece of night crawler. There's one. This one's got a little bit better weight to it. A nice one for the frying pan.
Oh, there we got one. Oh, that feels like the best one of the day. Woo! Look at that perch. That's a nice one. That's a beauty. Look at that. Little little hook with a piece of night crawler. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Rapala and PK Lures. Hey, good morning, everyone. We're back here on the Mississippi River. We're between Wisconsin and Minnesota on Lake Pepin today We're with our old buddy, Mike McCormick from McCormick's River Guide Service. Mike, tell us a little bit about what we're doing today and what are we targeting? Today we're fishing some deep channel uh, edges, pulling uh, floating jig heads and then uh, pulling some slow death hooks with some half crawler. See if we can't get these fish sitting on these edges with the live bait. Now you said some of these bigger fish are kind of coming back down the river after the spawn? Yeah, this is just a post-spawn bite. The fish are heading back into the lake here from uh, from making their transition from their spawn back to their summer ground. So this is a, more of an early summer pattern. Well, you've seen us on the ice with Mike catching some of those big jumbo perch. We've also caught some of those in the boat. Today, it's all about walleyes here on the Mississippi River. over and Mike hooked up on one smaller fish right away and we just took him off and right away we're hooked up again and this is a better fit. Is that pretty common of what you've been seeing here in the river? Yeah, we've been getting quite a few of these nice upper 20s inch fish. Boy, and they are in great shape, aren't they? Look at that, just a floating jig. Boy, he is hooked right in a peak there too, isn't he? So we'll have to tie that one up, but just a floating jig behind a lead weight right here on the bottom. About, you said about a half a mile an hour? Half a mile like? an hour, yeah. No kidding. And look at that beautiful wallet. Awesome, great start to the day. All right, Mike, so tell us a little bit about your rig here for river fishing these walleyes. We're just pulling a three-way with a two-ounce sinker on the bottom so we can keep our lines pretty much straight up and down, and then we just got a floating jig head with a half a crawler. And the half a crawler just keep them biting close instead of biting the tails off of it all the time? Yeah, it gets the hook in their mouth for sure. Sure. Okay. Cool. There's one. Feels like a little better one. Is he pulling a little bit? I'll come yeah, and get that. Yeah, he's up on top here. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good fish. There we go. Yeah, nothing wrong with him at all. You know, that wind started to lay down just a little bit, and I hate to say it because it's going to start blowing again, Mike, if I say this, but uh, oh, maybe it's going to make a difference for us. Yeah, he was up on top, it looks like, a little bit more than the other one. Do 
Now, will you typically pick up other species here in the river when you're pulling? Uh, you know, it's one of the things when you're pulling night crawlers, you typically tend to catch all kinds of other species. What about here in the river? On the river here, you'll catch, you'll get everything. You'll really? get the junk fish, you'll get sheephead, perch, whatever, bluegills, you know, anything that's hungry. Now, what can we keep for fish and what size can we keep here on the river? Well, we got some new regulations this year. Now we can keep one fish over 20 inches and the other three have to be uh, under 20. So, okay. But you can keep four fish under 20 inches. Four fish under 20 inches. Okay, gotcha. Quite a big point. Come back. Oh, it's not a wall. <laughs> it's not a white bass on there. You got her? I got it. <laughs> we like the crawler harness. Well, that's not something you see every day. <laughs> A little white bass action on the Mississippi. They're getting pretty active because of their spawns coming up. So they typically spawn after uh, the walleyes? After the walleyes, yeah. <clears throat> what Mike's got on this pole is a new rig by Venom Outdoors. It's an ASIM blade, asymmetrical blade. It's actually a plastic blade that glows but being plastic, it turns very, very easily. So these blades will turn down to a half a mile an hour when you're trolling. So perfect opportunity where we're slow trolling for some of these walleyes. There's also glow beads on them as well. So Venom is famous for their infernal glow that lasts a long time. Well, they've been able to take that same technology and move it over to these spinner blades. And we're using them here on the Mississippi River. Oh yeah, this one's got a little bit of weight to him. Oh yeah, ain't coming back. This one's got a little more weight, Mike. He's staying down there a little bit too. <laughs> Boy, there was no, uh, there was no guess there. All of a sudden, that rod <laughs> went back, and he was there. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if, you're trying, if you're trying to get the rod out of my hand, you're going to have to hit me a lot harder than that. <laughs> Ooh, I like when they stay down like that. That's fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's usually not a 12-inch fish, right? That's not going to be a 12-inch fish. He definitely wants to go back down, but there he's coming up. Oh yeah, look at that fish. <laughs> what a beauty. Take a look at that fish. <laughs> Mississippi River, look at that, just a tank. Post-spawn walleyes here on Lake Pepin of the Mississippi River. Incredible. Mike, that's a great fish. <laughs> yeah, Look at that. What do you think? 26? Yeah, right, 26. Boy, pretty fish. Look at that. Well, we'll get him unhooked and get him back in. See if we can catch some more of these. And go on. <laughs> I love that. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Venom Outdoors and Mountain Dew. There's a fish. Oh, that oh, looks yeah. like a nice one. Yeah, he's pulling. I can feel the head shaking on him, Mike. So hopefully he's not a white bass. <laughs> ah, this one ain't a white bass. He's got pretty good rod bend over. Yeah, he does. He's coming up though. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Look at that. Boy, he he nailed that right away, didn't he? Look at that. Another good eater fish here. Wow, I tell you, this has been the combination, that's for sure. Mike, thanks again for taking us out here on the Mississippi River. 
Folks, if you're interested in fishing with Mike here anywhere on the Mississippi River and along the Lacrosse Corridor, please give him a call. All of his information is right on the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Great fish. Yeah. We'll take him home and eat him. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Suffix and VMC Hooks. Well, they're biting, but I have seen bigger. Spot it all the way to the all the way to the surface. But well, that's what our guide puts us on. Well, not quite a fish. <laughs> that's why they call it fishing, not catching. Not something you see every day. Have you been fishing long? <laughs> My first day. <laughs> We're not done yet. Mike's gonna show me out of the boat here pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we are. <laughs> Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Yakima Bait and Tooth Tamer Rods.